Hey guys, Epoch again, here for the last part of our playthrough of Beyond Two Souls. We finished the main game, got an interesting ending. Um, check out the previous video if you haven't to find out what that was. But I ordered the GameStop, I pre-ordered the GameStop version of Beyond Two Souls, which is a special edition, which comes with additional content, a DLC called Advanced Experience. And we're going to finish off this Let's Play by playing that. So you don't press continue, you don't press new. What you do is you go down to additional content. Then you go down to download content. And you have advanced experience right there. So <clears throat> I had to put in a code in the PSN store, download it. And let's do it. You know, no more lollygagging. And um, this is the first time I'm playing this. So it's going to be as new for me as it is for you. So let's see what happens. And I think advanced experiments is set. After she comes, after she joins the CIA, but before she goes on her mission, the embassy mission. Let's do it. It's a nice Bluetooth. Okay, hey, it's Nick. The business. The purpose of this exercise is to see if you and I are capable of problem solving in the field. Your aim is simple. You have to collaborate with Aiden to advance through the course and find the way out. But you're gonna have to use your brain. Oh, I'm in pressure. trouble now. The DPA's top brass have designed this training facility especially for you and Aiden. So do not let them down. Kind of getting a portal vibe with all the white progress and the cameras. Good luck, recruit Holmes. Go for it, Jody. Just do your thing. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm guessing they did not record, um, did not record new audio for, from Ellen Page for this part. Wait. Hold. I don't get it. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I can run. All right. Go for it, Aiden. Still running into it.
I got it. Okay, I have to do it for each one then. This one goes down to this one. At least I can run now, that's pretty cool. What am I missing here? Try to open the door from the other side. Okay. I kind of like this. It's actually kind of challenging. Oh, at least for me. Actually, I realized if they actually included these kinds of... Hmm. Alright, well I gotta go up here. I realized if these, if they actually included these types of puzzles in the game, in the main game, I think, I think Beyond Souls would have had received a lot less criticism about its gameplay. Because this is actually pretty smart. It's kind of like a portal sort of vibe to it. Definitely portal vibe. I probably want to lift it.
awesome. Yeah, this uh, this DLC is definitely taking better advantage of the Iden. I mean, it, it's you didn't explore these types of possibilities with um, with Iden and uh, Jody in the regular game, and that's actually a big disappointment. This I think would have made. I mean, if, forget making a DLC. If you had just made this kind of If you have made this kind of um, gameplay in the main game, I think a lot of people could have actually ended up praising Beyond Two Souls as a game that was actually really um, a game that was really challenging and thoughtful, or at least somewhat challenging and thoughtful. I'm kind of an idiot, so it's probably not too hard for other people. <clears throat> All right. Alright, well, let's take a lay of the land. Okay, that's the end goal right there. Oh man. Do something. Those look like ladders. Maybe she can climb those. Oh, one. R1. I really wish the guy Ellen Page would do more voice work. That'd been awesome. Because it's really odd to see her stat silent. You think she should be throwing up a few. Throwing out a few f bombs. I don't think she would be happy about doing this stuff. Get her on the platform. Okay, let's see. And move it. Okay. I mean, I don't see. Jody Holmes being the type of girl that's just gonna be happy about this stuff. Up, up we go. Hopefully I'm doing this right. this more no. all right awesome and then I move it up now this is cool okay now this is actually pretty darn cool I like what they did with this ah! now I'm panicking Alright, let's see, what does this do? Alright! Up! There we go. Let's see, can she... But I like this a lot. I mean, I wish they had this stuff in the main game, where instead of just kind of you know, the quick time events and whatnot, actually having like her traverse across like terrain. I think that would have made it really cool. Okay. I think I know what I have to do now. Okay, never mind. That's probably not what I had to do. Get her on there. And then...
think I know what I have to do. Bring that up. Ever get back on the platform. Kick the platform to the middle. Have her walk up. Yeah. You came through okay. But I expected better than that from you, recruit Holmes. Oh shut up. Took far too long. I you know. Act and think faster. I'm not that smart. I'm sorry. You can do better than that. Thanks, Mom. Let's have another go. Right. What? All right, whatever. Okay, let's do this. If they haven't changed anything, it should be fine. Go for it, Aiden. Where is it? Oh, there we go. But yeah, this is. I mean, I wish. I, maybe it cost too much. Maybe they didn't really want to bother with it. I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> I really wish they included more of this stuff in the game. <clears throat> As is though, I, I, I like it quite a bit. Well, I know what to do, so this is just going to be making sure I don't screw up. First one. Second one. The last one. Or the third one. this again. Now, I wish they kind of changed up the puzzles so they made it more of a challenge. So far it's been the same one. I wonder, wait, I'm gonna test something. I wonder what happens if I go up real close. I wonder if it would just fall on my head or something. Okay, I guess she just moves. Is there anything else I needed? Get up. So I guess I can't crush Miss Holmes. I'm glad they got Nick to vo do more voice work. I like Nick a lot. I mean, he was only in a game for like one minute, but he seemed like a pretty cool guy. Him and Vince. I wish they were both here. They're, they're funnier as a team. Yeah, I guess Ellen Page's attitude was maybe I guess she wanted a little too much. I don't know. Glad she's here. Alright. <clears throat> Who's that? Ever activate it? Pay attention, guys. <clears throat> Move it up. Move this so it's a little more top. 
watch the Legos drop. Bam! It's pretty cool. Alright. Move up. Down. Have her go up the ladder. Have her put in palm on the little switch right there. And then I get you want her to get on the platform right over here. Have Iden. Oh wait, okay, here we go. <clears throat> awesome. Alright. This looks like it's gonna be the same, so let's just run across. R1. L1. Up. R1. L1, I'm guessing. There we go. Ever get up? Move this thing. Move this thing. Why wouldn't it let me move? that ever get on top move her all the way forward monkey bars this would be a cool like oh. this is real would be pretty cool have your own kind of parkour stadium or whatever Click down, get on that. Okay. Doing good. Doing good time. Good time. Okay. Cross, shimmy along. <laughs> no, other side. Get around the platform. Get her on the platform. Here we go. Doing good time. Whoa. I am blown away, Jody. Me too. I know what you can do. But that? You just sailed right through the exercise. Well, that's kind of my second I'm time. Find something a little more difficult. <laughs> Jody. You too, Aiden. You really outdid yourself there, buddy. Hey, this got the weird moaning voice that did Aiden back. I like how Jody's just silently appreciating it. Hmm. I wonder if that's it. That was about, well, about 30 or so minutes, but only because I, I took too long the first time. So that's about, if you're smarter than me, 
about 15 minutes of extra gameplay of puzzles. Um, if you're dumb, like me, myself, uh, 30 minutes or so. It's not too bad. I actually really like this. Um, how do I feel about it? Well, if I had to pay extra for the special edition of the game, I wouldn't be that happy about it. I would say, oh, this is just 50 minutes of, of... It's fun, but it's only 15 minutes. But the GameStop special edition was the same price as getting the game anywhere else for a regular price. So it was basically extra stuff. You got to see Jody in a new outfit, wearing a Bluetooth for some reason. You got to play some fun games and hear Nick again. You like Nick? I did, so it was cool. Uh, how do I feel about this? I feel like that was awesome and that showed you that there's a lot more potential gameplay in Beyond Two Souls than we saw in the main game. I mean, I wish that Advanced Experience had was longer. Uh, I mean, I've, I still beat it the first time around for like 12 minutes or so, so I wish it was more challenging, longer. I wish that if you do fail, you have to go again, that, that the... Uh, puzzles mix up a little bit but hey it was it was pretty fun you know for free i'm perfectly happy of course it was a little weird not hearing jody talk at all i guess they can bring ellen page maybe they didn't have money maybe they didn't have time um but i feel like it showed that it gave me a little taste of what beyond two souls could have been i think that if it had, had that sort of puzzle based gameplay where you and Aiden, jody and Aiden actually had to work synchronize a lot more closely that would have been actually a lot more fun gameplay wise i'm still very happy with beyond two souls as a game um even with its plot holes cheesy occasionally cheesy lines and it's a non-punishing non-challenging gameplay so i guess that's it for beyond two souls we've pretty much done everything i know that there's a for example, you can play duo where you and another person controls Aiden. You can use, if you have um, an iPhone, you can actually use the Beyond Two Souls Touch app and use that. But I didn't use it because it, it's 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 nonsense. You don't want to play it with that. Um, you can go through the chapters so you can play all the uh, stuff. Go through it, see different endings, and bonuses. If you go throughout the game, I didn't really do this because I just wanted to beat it. You can see, um, yeah, you can all you can see these little extra stuff that they have. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I guess that's it for my uh, let's play of Beyond Two Souls. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sure you had a lot of fun. Overall, I think Beyond Two Souls was a really cool game and that it really it was a tech it was in a lot of ways and people criticize for this understand it was a lot of ways it was kind of like a tech demo just to show you how this seven year old hardware when you really think about it seven years yeah seven year old hardware what it can really do if you just push it push it push it it looks great it's the best looking ps3 game we're probably ever gonna get um i like the story i love the acting I love that they're able to capture real human emotion with virtual actors. And overall, I'm content. Um, could it have been better? Yeah, it could have been better. It could have been a lot better, actually. Uh, do I understand the criticisms? Absolutely. Overall, I think Beyond the Souls, I don't really like to give a number. I think it's way just too arbitrary to just stick a, a, a grade onto it. Overall, I recommend Beyond Two Souls. If you're someone who cares a lot about challenging, challenging gameplay, no way is this game for you. At all. No way. But if you really, like me, love the ambiance and the story and the acting and the, and the music of games, this is right up your alley. Maybe just wait for the, you know, for the price to come down. Snatch it up when it's uh, at a discount. You know, maybe they'll have it on sale at Black Friday. Who knows? And play it for what it is, and I think you'll be happy. Now, there's a lot of hints about the game having a sequel. If you saw the ending, you know. Unfortunately, last time I checked, Beyond Souls only sold 580,000 copies. That's decent. That's okay for some games, but for a game like Beyond Two Souls, um, 
which took about twenty seven million dollars to develop, I believe, and I'm not sure how much it cost to actually market it and advertise it. That's not exactly a happy number. Not to mention that Heavy Rain, the predecessor, the last Quantic Dream that Quant- the last game that Quantic Dream made, sold upwards of something like over a million, I think, million, maybe two million. I'm not quite sure. Uh, maybe who knows? There'll be a s- upsurge in sales that usually doesn't happen. I think that overall, Quantic Dream made. A nice game that was a nice evolutionary step in what they were doing with Heavy Rain. Ultimately, just not enough to draw a lot of gamers. And with the fact that the new consoles were coming out this year, I think a lot of people were just saying, "Well, it's it's cool. It looks amazing, but it's the PS3. We want to see what the PS4 can do." I feel bad about that. I really, really would love to see a sequel. I don't know if the money's there, but. If it happens, it happens. Hey, maybe they could, maybe David Cage could just write a book. I'd read it. So, anyways, I think that's about it. Um, I had a kind of a mini review in the last part where I talked a little bit more about other stuff that they did in the game. Uh, but I think that that's it. I kind of don't want to say goodbye, honestly. This is my first let's play. Obviously not perfect. Pretty amateurish.、Uh, there's better people than me out there. I don't know. That mean people might say, well,、uh, you know, Epoch, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. I really don't mind. I will say it. I'll be very honest. There are better let's players. There are funnier let's players. More professional let's players. I'm just a work in progress. But hey, a work in progress always, you know, can always move up. So thanks for watching, guys. Whoever you are out there. I really appreciate any support you give me. Like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. That's cool. So this is Epoch for HBC Youth Group. We're a member of the Aftermath Gaming. I'll have a link for the channel in the description, and uh, also um, uh, check out my friend Baumuk. I'll have his his、uh, channel link in the description.、Um, We are both a part of AMG, and we do a bi-monthly show called. AMG Game and Tech Talk, where we talk about the latest and greatest in game and tech news. And feel free to check that out, share that.、Um, check out my friend Zaycrest. He's the guy who sort of runs AMG. He's a really cool guy. He's been doing a let's play of, of The Last of Us, which has been really nice. I've been enjoying that. You can check that out too. Again, I have his link in in the description below. And I hope you guys have a great day.、Uh, whatever you're seeing this, I'm probably going to be uploading this in a in. After I'm done with playing this, probably tomorrow or so, which would make it about I'm guessing a Sunday or Monday. So you're either watching this Sunday, Monday, or who knows, maybe you're watching it later. But either way, if you're watching it on Monday, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving week. If you're not an American, hope you have a great week. Regardless, wherever you are, whoever you are, have a great night, a great day. I'll see you next time. And my next next play, my next let's play, will be.、Uh, I think you guys will like it. I think I'll do even better. All right, guys, have a great day. Have a good night. See you next time.